Good day, Calvin Swemmer here, Media and Sales Director of the New Crustillion. This is a public service announcement and it's aimed at assisting our beautiful community in understanding the absolute necessity and relevance of the COVID-19 vaccine. There, as you would have seen on the New Crustillion over the past few weeks, we have been working tirelessly to debunk the myths and the absolute nonsense around this topic. There has been some weird and wonderful conspiracy theories that have surfaced. But at the same time, it's also concerning because there are a lot of people opting to not want the vaccine. Please understand this is to your own detriment and is a requirement if we want to see the end of this virus. Therefore, in light of that, with the great relationship that we hold with MediClinic, we have sat down with some of the doctors and got their input on the COVID-19 vaccine and what they are saying to you with regards to it. Please enjoy. Good morning everyone, my name is Dr. Regina Hurley and I work at uh, MediClinic. I'm a specialist anesthetist as well as in charge of the um, COVID task team uh, at MediClinic. And I've been asked today to discuss the vaccine with you and whether I would actually take the vaccine or not. And my answer is absolutely 100%. I'd like to be the first person in line to get the vaccine. Um, from all of the problems that we have seen from this COVID-19 uh, pandemic in the first surge and now the second surge, I wouldn't want anyone to have to go through what our patients go through sometimes in the, uh, with the disease of um, the COVID-19. So please, if you can, if you're eligible, go get the vaccine so that you can be protected and you can protect your family as well. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Bianca Cooper, Principal Clinical Manager of the Emergency Centre at MediClinic Newcastle. If the vaccine becomes available, I would definitely take it. I believe it is the best chance that we have at combating COVID-19 and overcoming this pandemic. My name is Dr. Miraj and I'm a practitioner in Newcastle. I'm here to talk about the COVID-19 vaccine that is available to us at the end of the month. This vaccine was developed by AstraZeneca and Oxford. It is manufactured in India and it is not a vaccine from India per se. India is busy making their own vaccine. Clinical trials on this vaccine has been conducted in South Africa by Professor Madi. And the efficacy of the vaccine in South Africa is between 70 to 75 percent. There are no short-term side effects of the vaccine. The long-term side effects are still yet to be determined and can only be done after two years of use. Uh, SAPRA is in the process of registering the vaccine and the first 1.5 million doses will be available to us at the end of the month. As healthcare workers, we will be the first to receive it. And should it become available, I have no hesitation in taking the vaccine. Thank you very much. Good morning, fellow Newcastle folk. You all know me, Dr. Desai, maxillofacial surgeon. Um, I've been asked whether I would take the COVID vaccine, um, and the answer is an emphatic yes. And the reason I would take this vaccine is because vaccinations have been proven over centuries to provide herd immunity and to be the only effective way of bringing pandemic under control and for that reason I would encourage everybody to also strongly consider taking the vaccine so that we can reach herd immunity and that we can restore normality to our lives. Hi my name is Mahesh Danji I'm a urologist at Medical in Newcastle. If the COVID vaccine is available in South Africa and particularly in our community here in Newcastle I will be sure to take it. It offers yes, yet another layer of protection against the virus, just like wearing a mask, washing your hands and social distancing. The vaccine might not be 100% protective, but it's yet another means to prevent the spread of the disease, which has ravaged our community. I urge you all that if the vaccine is available, it is not a conspiracy theory, but I want you all to take it. Thank you.